All right. We'll let everybody in, but welcome everyone to our What's All the ERP Buzz monthly chat series. Hi on LinkedIn as well. We should be live there. We're live here on Zoom. We'll give it a few minutes to let everybody kind of get in. But thank you for joining us. We appreciate you being here on this wonderful Tuesday. I hope we get some more people. <laughs> Welcome, Vicki. Yes. If you're the only one that joins, Vicki, I'm going to talk right to you the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Vicki, we were saying how a lot of people register and just want the recording lately. I don't know if you've seen that as well, but thank you for being here. So, And thank you, everyone on LinkedIn, for being here as we go live. I, I will kick things off saying this is our uh, What's All the ERP Buzz monthly chat series. It's the second Tuesday of every month right here at 4 p.m. Eastern time for roughly 20 minutes or so. And I am your host, Amy Keenan, founder of the ISV Society. Excited to host these every month with different v ERP ISVs to talk about different topics. And so this month, very excited to have Jared Moss join us. He is the head of sales in the central reason, region for use. And he is going to talk about all of the 2023 technology trends that are in the finance right now. So very excited, Jared, for you to talk about this topic. I know you're going to touch upon some trends, some priorities, some debunking of myths. So very excited for you to be here. Thank you for joining me this month. Thank you. I'm very excited to be here as well for this fireside chat. I, I will go ahead and let everybody know the first question I always get asked, my background, did I pick this background because it has the fireside kind of chat uh, piece to it? Actually, no, this is the background I use every single call I'm on. Uh, I just happened to pull into Zoom and just happened to match <laughs> this for this conversation. So it did. It was, it was meant to be, Amy. That's what it I like to say. It definitely was. meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm really happy to be here today representing use and, and talking about some of the top trends on, on the finance side for 2023. Uh, you know, use, you know, we've, we've been around for about 13 years now. And so we've had a lot of opportunities to talk to our clients. It's, it's kind of one of our, one of our huge uh, pieces to get to know them a little better. We actually publish studies around what we call the state of automation in finance because we understand that from year to year, and as we move forward, things are constantly changing and things are constantly evolving. We want to make sure that we not only understand uh, where our customers are, but where they want to go, uh, and we and we work to adapt with them. So, some of the things that we've been finding through those research-based surveys uh, among these financial decision makers, there's a few things that really stood out to us. You know, the first one we talk about is cybersecurity. I mean, I think cybersecurity has been a huge piece. I've actually been with uh, two, you know, very, very large bars for 20 years before I, I joined use here. And uh, cybersecurity has been around since, you know, I started as a baby in this in this whole kind of industry, right? <laughs> you know, the finance team, you know, it's become a more and more of a top concern for them over the last few years as nobody wants to be susceptible uh, to fraud or hackers, you know? And if you leverage technology, you're already kind of helping yourself out there uh, because that technology in cybersecurity is really the only way you can ensure that you stop hackers and stop fraud. Now, with manual processes and you know, human error that we have out there, that especially in the finance departments, it makes it easier for mistakes to happen, for fraud to happen. And you don't really get like an audit trail that is really needed and to have a good cybersecurity uh, platform. The other piece we're seeing when in the finance uh, side of it is cloud computing and SaaS. You know, people are trying to remove manual processes 
and paper. So naturally they're, they're looking for cloud online solutions. And those cloud solutions are great because you can access them from anywhere at any time to keep up with your fast paced and dispersed workforce. I think if COVID taught us anything, uh, that more and more people are really ecstatic to work from home. I know, you know, I work in a hybrid environment myself and I can't tell you that I love having my little coworkers, my pups, my puppies alongside me as I work throughout the day. And I think that more and more we're seeing uh, the best of the best that are kind of looking for that kind of hybrid environment. And I recall, you know, one of the things that brought me to use was back when COVID was hitting, you know, I was at this company, I was in our IT department and I was noticing on phone calls, I had my controller, I had my CFO. Well, guess who was in the office all by their lonesome during COVID? It was them. They had to come in because, you know, the company I was at at the time didn't have a solution for them to process their AP, you know, without being in the office. So it was really tough to kind of see that and them kind of be forced to be there. And I think, you know, another hot topic that we have is AI. You know, AI is kind of big. You, I'm sure people have seen articles about AI. It's taking over the world. <laughs> taking over the world, right? And, you know, chat GPT and, and things like that. You know, it's, it's really being implemented into finance functions today in a great way, not to the level of like a chat GPT where it's taking over the world or, you know, saying this is what you have to do or things like that. But AI is helping to streamline and reduce the manual tasks that employees spend so much time on. You know, nobody wants to spend time just sitting there entering data day after day after day after day, right? You know, for example, in our in our solution, which is both AP automation and purchase to payment, we combine AI with smart data extraction to read your invoices, auto fill in fields, detect duplicates, and learn more from each and every invoice that's processed to reduce the amount of time that you spend actually processing your invoices. And so then employees can check their documents to make sure everything is right but not spending that time just putting the data into the system itself, right? Now, AP automation is what I like to call from a buzzword perspective, digital transformation. Now, what I'm really liking about where kind of the, the finances world is going is that in the past, you know, you talk about digital transformation, automation, it was always focused on sales, supply chain, kind of those, those people that were generating the most profit, they wanted to focus there and how they could automate tasks for them. But now automation is starting to come into the finance world. And we're seeing that about 69% of mid-sized organizations out there are now looking at AP solutions because they feel like they're very valuable to their organizations, especially if they want to take the next steps and grow and really expand what they're doing. Okay, now let's talk about priorities for accounting and finance professionals, right? We have seen people jump into features that where we talk about working anywhere and anytime, you know, specifically around AI, data visualization, big data, mobility. With more technology, there's more visibility to data. So the AP teams that are looking at technology like this and those, you know, taking those finance functions and automating them, they're getting the opportunity to access data more and use those findings to impact other areas of their business for decision making and really help impact the cash flow of their organizations. You know, we're also seeing a shift on the CFO side where we're seeing more and more of these CFOs that are becoming more well-rounded rather than purely technical. Uh, so communication, problem solving, you know, were the top skills needed for CFOs this year. And then the final real big piece that I like to talk about, and it was kind of, kind of, again, true to my heart based on that prior conversation, we're seeing a shift to make the workplace and job functions more pleasant and more fulfilling. You know, there's, there's a shortage of talent out there. There really is. Yeah. You see job openings all the time. They're, they're trying to fulfill them, but it's, it's hard to find the right people. And so there's a high emphasis being placed on what can make my company stand out and bring and attract that high talent, right? And that's part of where the shift is when it comes to AP automation, removing items like manual data entry. The, the, best, the best and brightest talent out there 
that's not what they want to do, right? They want to feel more valuable to their organization. And, you know, and really, Amy, the last thing I wanted to kind of cover was talking about the, the, myths, the myths that are in the AI, about AI and finance and accounting processes. You know, with AI being all the buzz, I think what I hear the most not is yet. people are afraid that AI is going to take their jobs and automating is going to take their jobs, right? I can tell you that I talk to many, many clients every single day and their main focus isn't about reduction of people and reduction of staff. It's about reduction of processing cost. And so what I mean by that is when you think about like when a company is processing an AP document, what we usually see is that without any type of automation, companies are spending about a month, 28 and a half days from the time they receive an invoice to the time they pay that invoice. And so there's a lot of hands that are going through and touching this to get it through to the end state. Well, companies are saying this time that's being spent is not valuable to our organization. And so they're looking at tools to say, how can I take this and pull it away from my employees and make them more valuable. Give them something that is going to increase their job satisfaction and, and really put them in a better position to be more successful, okay? And at the end of the day, don't forget that AI can't do it alone. You know, when you look at AI tools, what they do is humans help set up the information, they help teach it, they help set the context, the parameters, and they still do validation because you know, that's part of the tool is making sure that while all the manual data entry is being done by the system, do you still have your team that can validate it and make sure everything is working properly? Because as we know, humans can make judgment calls, but AI is truly you know, function of fact and rules. That's how it's driven. And then with an AP automation platform, you get to set the context, right? You get to set workflows. You get to look at your company and your departments and help teach it over time, modifications, edits, patterns, and things. So as it works into the initial process of your AP department, it fits in and fits into your needs and helps you adapt and become a much stronger AP department. And, and really at the end of the day, you know, AI is just a tool to improve jobs, especially in the finance function, because companies have looked at finance as that cost center. And if they're looking at it as a cost center, we want to help them find ways to take, you know, AI technology and AP automation and turn it from a, a cost center into more of a profit generator, which can be done through payment processing, you know, virtual cards, potentially looking at reducing um, the cost from vendors because they, you know, there's always real-time reporting within applications like ourselves. And so there are ways to really strengthen the value of not only what they're getting, but what they're providing to, to their uh, other departments within their company. And I think that the last thing I'll put out there is that you know, AI is a, is a fantastic tool in finance because it's going to help you cut down the manual task. It's going to add verification and layers of checks for you. And it helps make real-time data possible. Um, but it does not replace the people. Mm -hmm. It helps you to put those people into a better situation that is more effective for your organization. And so, Amy, I appreciate the time that we had today. I told you it'd be about 15 minutes. I didn't want to take too much of everybody's time, but I wanted to give them that kind of nugget that would, you know, hopefully provide value to them in their day-to-day -day basis. Yes, that was great, Jared. I just want to touch upon a few of your points that key points that you make. Cybersecurity, like it's it's funny how over the last few years, I think it's really blown up and we yeah. really need to take a step back and make sure that we have things in place for cybersecurity because it hits hits us in the business. It hits us at home. It hits us you know, on our own laptops. It hits us as a consumer. So you really have to think about it as something that has to be uh, at the forefront of everybody's mind to make sure we're not getting hacked or spammed or um, opening malicious stuff. So 
that's a huge thing right now. And I feel like every, you know, there, there's so many people out there trying to hack things all the time. So you're, you have to have that <laughs> under control, right? <laughs> that is correct, I, I don't yeah. think hackers ever sleep. I don't <laughs> hackers and people trying to scam or fraud, like it, it's, it's pretty interesting. You can't go on TikTok or Instagram without seeing videos about somebody trying to scam somebody else and right. someone reporting what they're doing. So it's crazy nonstop. And then uh, like, and what you'd mentioned about AI, yes, it's not going to replace people. Obviously, it's just going to help be a tool or resource, just something to make our jobs easier. Like you mentioned, yes. we want to get rid of the boring, mundane tasks and focus on things that really make us things we want to do uh, versus things we have to do. So correct. I love that. And I also want to just point out that we do have um, an ISB Society webinar in August all about that, which Use is going to be presenting on about these boring and mundane tasks and how you can kind of eliminate them and make your back office more streamlined, your AP team more streamlined. So I'm excited for you guys to present on that. So thank you, Jared, for joining me today for What's All the ERP Buzz. This was very exciting. Obviously, AI is the buzzword and everybody's been using it. So I feel like it's going to be a hot topic for a while and it's going to be part of everybody's efforts to just help streamline everything and incorporate it into their strategy. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Have a great day.